speed controller is a little bit too big. It's too big to fit um, up under this plate right here where you could normally get a 40 amp speed controller or uh, a normal size one. But since that, yeah, it has a 6 amp BEC on it, it's a, it's a little bit bigger and it's just a little bit too wide. It won't fit in there. So I'm going to have to mount it on the side. So, now, so you have to know where you, how things are going to go. So the speaking controller is going on the side and I'm going to feed the wires here. So I want the motor wires to be here in the front so that the speed controller wires don't have to cross over the pinion or around the motor. Uh, that sort of thing. So uh, I'm going to put the motor with the wires in the front. Last night, um, uh, installed the, um, the servos into the head block and uh, installed the blob on his head. And I, made sh I used my digital calipers and I made sure that all of these um, linkages were the same length. <coughs> so that um, everything is okay. Now all I have to do is use my PC, um, the software on my PC, to set the trim and the gyro to get these um, servo arms more level than they are. So, now, that's the easiest way to s install the servos and the head on the uh, 450 Pro. So, now, we're going to get the main gear in there. Be careful. And when you open up your main gear, don't lose that little space right there. That goes right there on top of that. Um, the uh, one-way barrier. And so, um, it goes right there. You know, I'll just flatten it in. Have it sitting there in the middle. the motor I did the motor so that the wires come out in front so they uh, they connect to the speed controller right up under here so I've got the motor mounted um, servo arms they're not they're not entirely 90 degrees but uh, I'm going to work on that with the gyro programming software um, I, I did those servo horns the best I could at 90 degrees, but I could, uh, I just couldn't get it at 90 degrees, so I'm going to do that later. Um, I went on and routed my servo wires to the uh, receiver, used a zip tie here to hold it so that it, it doesn't touch the, uh, the shaft, the main shaft, or the collar. And then another zip tie here, and then I join up the elevator servo wire here at this zip tie, and then just come on around. And then here's I mounted my Copter X uh, CX 3X 2000 on the back there, just using a little gyro foam pad. I think it's the Tarot one. And then there's my tail servo here already in place with the, uh, the little servo um, pretty much 90 degrees. I may have to make some small adjustment to it. Alright, so I've got all my electronics mounted. And that's one thing I like about the head frame, uh, the 450 Pro frame, is that uh, you can do all of this without the tail, the tail boom, things like that installed to install it 
make sense. This is a torque tube. All I have to do is loosen these four screws here, slide the, the boom in, um, lock it up, and run my uh, my tail control rod to the to the uh, to pitch slider. Okay, so I'm about to take the take the frame over to the PC and um, make some adjustments to the gyro, try to level the swash, and the first thing I notice is when I use my transmitter and I move to the left, you'll see that it wants to it would tilt the swash to the right. If I move the stick to the right, it tilts the swash to the left. If I move the stick forward, it gives collective up. If I move the stick back, it gives collective down. So I've got some servo reversing to do. Now, I'm not going to do it on my transmitter because when I, earlier on, when I first connected the gyro to the speed controller and receiver before it was even in the frame, um, I took it over to the PC, connected the gyro, and using the monitor, tab um, on the software, I confirmed that the, all the graphs, the meters, move in the right way. Like, even though the swash is moving to the right, when I move the stick to the left, um, on the PC software, the meter moves to the left. So, the transmitter is set up correctly. Any servo re reversing at this point needs to be done on the gyro using the software. Okay, we're connected to the gyro. You'll see that <coughs> my gain um, and agility have already been set. I did this earlier when I first configured the gyro for digital servos. I went on and set this. But uh, I found that uh, an agility of 30 is, is a good starting point um, without causing any shaking or anything like that. And I found that the default value of 40 is way too high. 30 for the um, gain seems to work very good for digital servos. And 20 seems to work okay for analog. Now, these are just starting points because I've got one, one um, 450 with analog servos that uh, 20, it would still shake, but not violently, not bad. But I think I ended up reducing it to 18 or 19 to get rid of the shaking and um, on my 450s with uh, digital servos 30 works pretty good and going up to 31 and 32 would introduce a little shaking on a descent and things like that so I just I just start with 30 for digital and 20 for analog and adjust a little bit at a time one or you know just one percent up or down as needed and you'll see that I set my yaw um, gain to 100% so that I can control it from the uh, transmitter. Okay, what I was describing earlier is that uh, when I'm, right now when I move my aileron to the left, the um, meter goes to the left. When I move to the right, it goes to the right. When I move down, the meter goes down on the elevator. When I move up, the meter goes up on the elevator. When I do yaw left, the rudder meter goes to the left. When I do yaw right, the rudder meter goes to the right. And I've used sub trim to get all of these. When I'm not touching the sticks, with my trim centered, I use sub trim to get all these values to zero. So I did that already um, earlier um, when I was first setting up the gyro. And I also picked my orientation, as, as you saw in the video. I have it mounted on the anti rotation bracket. And this is where I set it to be all digital servos. 
and this is where I set the swash plate 120 degrees yeah this is what I needed to get to because right now even though the meter is right um, what happens when I move the aileron to the left is the swash tilts to the right and vice versa so channel 1 is here so I'm going to make that and I'm going to reverse both of these channel 1 and 2 in the gyro Now that I've reversed them, um, I just checked, and everything is great. It does. The swash tilts to the left now when I go to the left. It tilts to the right when I go to the right. So that was very quick and easy. So now let me check the uh, swash level to see what I need to do at this point. Okay, I think the swash is very close to level at this point. So I'm going on to the next. Now, normally I like to set mine to 60. to set my collective pitch at about 60. And then when I did the collective pitch, when I did my throttle up, the um, swash plate moved down. So what that means is I just need to, I could go back and do a lot of servo reversing to my transmitter and things like that, but I'll just do this. Come on now. like I could go up a little more. Yeah, I'm going to do it on 65. 